guys. So something new dropped today at noon. I got a text message from Pat McGrath talking about their new love collection. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. If you haven't seen it yet, if you want to see what's going on with it, if it's sticker gate all over again, well then keep watching. All right, guys, apologize for what I look like today. I just got home from work and <laughs> I was like, oh my God, Pat, like you are dropping a new collection. Nobody was prepared for this. Had no idea that this was happening. So I'm in my sweats. I'm in my makeup from work. It's not pretty, but here we are. So Pat McGrath is now dropping for Valentine's Day her love collection. So we're gonna take a look at it here and we're gonna take a look at the video. All right, so here is the love collection. Taking a look at it here together for the first time. So definitely we've got some stuff going on. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three Mothership palettes. Packaging on it looks incredible. Definitely right there for Valentine's Day. Oh my God, that first one. Oh, oh my God. So that first one is the one I would be interested in for sure. That's like right up my alley, but that's really pinky, pinky tones there. It's going a little bit fast. So these right here are gonna be your liquid eyeshadows. And that's something new from Pat McGrath. I don't think she's ever done anything like that before. We've got some lipsticks in the Satin Allure line. They look cute, but not anything I wanna write home about. The Liquid Lust Legendary um, lipsticks and then Divine Blushes. Those are already existing from what I've seen. And then you've got the Under Eye Powder, which already exists as well. Let's watch that again. So, yep, definitely have some eyeshadow palettes there. I mean, the collection is stunning, but is this stuff we've seen before? Okay, that's the, the, here we go again. So that first one right there, I want to see. So that's the new Mothership. They go so fast. Those are the eyeshadow palettes, the Iconic Infatuation. That's the one I'm most interested in. Sublime Seduction is a warm toned, and then Velvet Liaison is, I think that's an all matte palette. Did we ask for all mattes? I'm not sure about that. Um, definitely interested about those liquid eyeshadows, if they're gonna be any different than the Chromalux pots, because I don't think they were a big hit last time. Um, and then going through, I mean, she definitely knows how to bring it. Those blushes, it's more of the same. I just, and then the, the eye powder. All right, let's 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 go to the website and, and take a look and see what's going on. So the Love Collection arrives on January 27th. You can sign up for early VIP access. I'll have that link in my description box down below. So you'll receive messages from Pat, but let, let, let's, let's take a look at this collection. So there are three eyeshadow palettes. So the Iconic Infatuation is the one that catches my eye the most. So that is definitely my color story. It, it's pinky, it, it's sparkly, it's Valentine's Day. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from that. But the first thing I, I look at is I'm like, this is boring. I'm not an avid collector of Pat McGrath. I just got into makeup six months ago. But this just seems like I have this in my collection already. Where is the specialness? Where is the va 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 voom in this. So the shades in this look to be my favorite. You get three mattes, three shimmers, but they're, they're not captivating me. They're just, they're not. I haven't looked to see if these shades exist already. I didn't get a chance to do that much research, but that's the one that looks the most interesting to me. The second one, Sublime Subduction. This looks to be three mattes as well, three shimmers, and this is gonna be your warm palette for certain. Again, those shades don't excite me. I feel like I have these in my collection already. Granted, not from Pat McGrath, but for those of you that collect the motherships, do you have these already? Put it in the comments down below. What do you guys think? 
but definitely this is a more warmer toned palette, definitely leaning more towards peach uh, and orangey. All of these are neutrals. They're all neutrals, which I get it. Like it's Valentine's Day and, and neutrals is what sells. But for me, like I would wanna see something a little bit more special in this. And for the price, by the way, these are sixty-five dollars. We'll get we'll get to that in just a minute. Yeah, nothing nothing to write home about. No. And then the last one is the Velvet Liaison. This is an all matte palette. It is an all matte palette. Did, did we ask for this? Did you guys ask for this? It's an all matte palette. I mean, for me, I need to have some shimmers in there. Like I like some sparkle in my life not all mattes, but again, these shades do not excite me at all. I mean, they, they are beautiful, but this is stuff I feel like we all have already. What do you guys think? Chime in in the comments down below. So these eyeshadow palettes are $65, you guys, $65. And, and that kind of blows my mind because we're coming off of the holiday collection, we're coming off of the Star Wars collection, where we had five pan eyeshadow palettes that were $36 a piece. These six pan eyeshadow palettes are $65. And I'm sorry, I think the Star Wars ones were just a little bit more stunning than this. One of the things that I said to myself when I looked at this, I was like, that looks like the golden one palette from the Star Wars collection, does it not? Am I wrong? You, you guys let me know. I actually went and I took a look at the grams in the eyeshadow palettes. And what I found did not make me happy at all. In the Star Wars palette, you have four grams of eyeshadow for $36. Right? And that, that price point actually did seem reasonable to me. I was actually thinking about getting some of these and then I saw some of the reviews and I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't need to spend the money on this, right? And those were described as ultra soft velvet mattes, gleaming metallics and luminous shimmers, creamy silken touch, smooth color lay down, four grams, 0.14 ounces. And that was $36. The Love Collection palettes, they're structure shaping essentials aka basic bitch nudes. Highlight shades, strong saturation, multi-dimensional finishes, creamy, blendable texture, use wet or dry, 6.6 .6 grams for $65. So this is 2.6 grams more than what the Star Wars five pan palettes were. You're getting more product. And that's why it's it's costing more. But still, that's a hard pill to swallow. $65 for this. I, I'm just not sure, you guys. Like For that, for these neutrals, for these non-special shades, I don't need this. I mean, and I'm not a Pat McGrath collector, but if you are, you're, you're going to get this for certain. But do we need it is the question. The thing that interests me out of this whole collection is the fetishized long wear liquid eyeshadows. They are gonna be $29 a piece and you're getting seven shades in this liquid eyeshadow. So that is definitely something that is new to Pat McGrath from what I understand. Uh, the chroma look shadows didn't do very well in the Star Wars collection. A lot of people are like, these are not special enough. I, they're, they're, these are not worth the price. And it makes me want to ask the question, are these worth the price? I don't think I'm paying 30 bucks, $29 to be exact, to find out. I'm really not. I'm going to be watching reviews first to see if they're any good because Elf makes liquid eyeshadows. There's a lot of companies out there that make a liquid eyeshadow. Is this really going to be that much better than those? And that's what I need to know. I need to be informed before I make a purchase. So you've got seven shades platinum bronze which is a luminous cool bronze with sparkling platinum pearl smoldering seduction luminous sienna bronze with sparkling pink and gold pearl twilight platinum luminous pewter with sparkling platinum pearl that interests me for certain cosmic chartreuse this is something i've not seen luminous khaki green with sparkling gold pearl champagne luminous golden champagne with sparkling platinum pearl luna rose luminous rose gold and sparkling 
Platinum Pearl, and Bronze Bijou, Luminous Warm Bronze with Sparkling Gold Pearl. And then you've got the Satin Allure lipsticks. I don't know if these are existing shades. The packaging looks pretty. I went searching to see if these were existing shades. I think they may be, but I'm not exactly certain. I didn't have a lot of time on my lunch break to be able to do all of the research that I needed, but I wanted to bring this to you guys as quickly as I possibly could. And then the two blushes. These are existing already. So this is not gonna be special packaging. You're just gonna get the box. And again, it may not be sticker gate all over again, but we are putting existing product into pretty boxes. This is stuff that you could have gotten on a discount during the 40% off sale. Is this something we really need to purchase? I mean, if you're excited about it, you collect it, you wanna keep the boxes. I never keep any of my boxes to my makeup. I'm, I always throw the outer box away. Maybe that's something I'm doing wrong. Maybe that's just me being new to makeup and being a novice. I mean, do I have any idea what I'm doing? Absolutely not. But if you keep your boxes, put it in the comments down below. But if you want that pretty box, then you're gonna be paying full price for it. The Liquilust Legendary Wear Lipsticks, looks like there's two shades in that. That's gonna be $32 a piece. Uh, I don't know if I, I said prices to the other one, to the other thing. So the Satin Allure Lipsticks are gonna be $30 a piece. The blushes are gonna be $39 a piece. And then the Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Lipsticks, they're gonna be $32 a piece. And again, I didn't get a chance to see if these were existing shades already, but I'm wondering how much of this collection is actually new. The mother ships are new. The although I've seen I feel like we've seen these shades before. The liquid eyeshadows are new, and that's probably the most interesting thing out of the collection. And then we've got the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. We just saw this repackaged for Lunar New Year. And now here it is repackaged again for the Love Collection. If you have this already, do you need it again? I really don't think we do. This is still not giving me confidence in Pat McGrath. I have always seen Pat to be, you know, cutting edge. The Mothership palettes, they're phenomenal. They're this, they're that. And I gotta say, from what I've seen in the last couple of months, I'm not seeing it. I have one eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath and it was a six pan eyeshadow palette, granted they're small, that I got for $29 and I got it on a discount during the VIB sale. And I do, I love them. I love those eyeshadows. Do I love them enough though, and the company enough to spend this kind of money in this economy? I don't think so, you guys. But that's just my opinion. And now it's time for your opinion. Put your opinion in the comments down below. What do you guys think of this new collection? Is this something that you're gonna be picking up? Is this something you're excited for? Is this something that you're mad about? Inquiring minds wanna know, and I wanna hear from you guys. So that's it for right now. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. Again, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. It lets YouTube know that you like my content and that other people with the same interests as you will like my content too. Guys, thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.